I rise to remind the Labor Party that Northern Australia matters. It matters to me, to my coalition colleagues and the 1.3 million people who call it home. And on June 2 I said I feared the installation of a Labor government would herald the sunset for Northern Australia. I hope to be wrong, but on the very first day of this new parliament, Labor has abolished the Joint Standing Committee on Northern Australia and thrown the, future, the region's future under a cloud. Only people who don't appreciate both the potential and challenges of the North would make such a decision, thinking that Northern issues are just the same as Southern issues. The arrogance and ignorance of this attitude is truly breathtaking. Order. And we in the North pay more, and in many parts you can't make a mobile phone call. Our children's schooling is hampered by slow internet. The Bruce Highway is cut off by every heavy rain event. We have unsealed roads that isolate communities for months in the wet season. But despite all of this, through sheer will, attitude and hard work, the North protects, it feeds, it clothes and it enriches the whole country. Australians re uh, the Australian resources sector, much of which is based in the North, poured $39 billion in royalties and taxes into government coffers in 2020-21 and added $390 billion to our economy, funding roads, schools and hospitals used by all Australians. Our northern beef industry is worth more than $5 billion, and more than 90 per cent of our bananas, mangoes, sugarcane and winter tomatoes and other horticulture are grown north of the tropic. All these people and these critical industries are relying on Labor to look out for them, but they have been abandoned at the very first step. Under the coalition government, we built momentum for developing the North, and I will be moving a motion in the Senate that the committee is re-established and gives the North the specialised focus and policy-making it Senator deserves. Senator MacDonald, your time has expired.